Okay. okay. I'm well, I'm going to call my, my higher ups and figure out how we're going to handle this, okay? My name is Norma Thornton. I live in Bullhead City, Arizona. Okay, so I've made contact with the lady and a gentleman that was here. Um, I went up and talked to her. I said, well, what are you doing? She goes, I'm just uh, bringing the, the, the transients some food. They're hungry. Yeah, so I just got a very, I'm not on speakerphone, right? Yeah, you are. I'll take you off. I think this is a PR nightmare, but okay. Here's the bad news. Uh-oh. You're under arrest. I am? Yes, for violating the city ordinance. Good news is, all I'm gonna do, get your fingerprints, all that stuff, and I will bring you right back here. The city of Bullhead has made it a crime to feed the needy. Technically, I'm supposed to be handcuffing you and everything too, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I, I don't think, I don't do think you're a hardened criminal. I don't think you're, you're out to hurt me. I'm not out to hurt anybody. Just so you know, you are under arrest. This is an arrest. You must go to court. Do not come back into the park and feed people. If you do, you will definitely spend the night in the jail in Kingman. I had a restaurant for a very long time and I worked restaurant work for quite a bit. A friend of mine had been volunteering, making food for the homeless and asked me would I please be interested in, in uh, serving food one day a week. And I found it very exciting and so volunteered. This gave me purpose and a good way to use my skill and kind of spiraled to doing more, more and more. I started out a wonderful day. I made, had good food, made up for my, uh, for the people down at the park. Uh, I just finished up serving approximately 26 or 27 people. And the very last person that come through, I literally was scraping the bottom of my pants, finished off the food, gave him. And as he was walking away, these two police officers drove up, uh, Bullhead City Police. Finally, the day came to come and talk to the prosecutor person and then they would set a date for criminal <laughs> criminal court so mm. thought of, of people being hungry I mean, I'm not making a big impact. It's not that much, but at least some people have enough food to survive. And I can't even imagine living in this country and being hungry. To be told that you cannot feed the hungry, regardless of, of what, what the circumstances are, it's sad, but it makes me really, really angry, to put it bluntly. After the court, this reporter sat down beside me because I was sitting right on the brink of tears. And he sat down, talked to me a little bit, and he said, may I take, a pic take your picture? He asked me a few questions. The day after, the front page blasts across, grandmother arrested for feeding the homeless or something like that. I'm never gonna stop feeding them, never. I am still able to serve people. It's not ideal. It's, there's no tables, there's no grass. They get their food and they just sit up against a fence that gives us some shade. When I was serving in the park, word would get out. 
that I was serving and it was much easier for people to get to me and to the food. We always kept the park clean so that the place is always left as clean or cleaner than we arrived. Nobody camped in the park, lived in the park. The city has made it very clear that I can have a party and host up to 100 people with no consequence at all, so long as I am not feeding the homeless. I am not enabling homelessness. I'm enabling these people to survive.